Technology gets a lot of flack these days, yet as the futurist Ray Kurzweil has said before, technology is also the only thing that has ever helped us overcome problems, right? We use our tools to extend our range of possibilities. We use our tools to extend our reach, to extend the impact of our consciousness, to extend our will, right? Technology is the human imagination turned inside out. Now, the futurists and writers Andy Clark and David Chalmers have used the term skim back bias to explain this aversion to man-made technology. We seem to assume that everything that's natural is within our skin tissue and everything that we make in the world is somehow artificial. But this duality, my friends, is an illusion. If we really want to think of of, of the things of man, we have to think of the things of mind. Our technology is a scaffolding of our minds. It extends our mind and our agency in a very real way that might as well be called anatomical. If you drew the Vitruvian man today, you might put a smartphone in his hand and point to it with a diagram as if it was literally a part of its anatomy. We are distributed beings. We have distributed our mindedness across the planet like a cloak and even into other worlds. We traverse the surface of Mars today with a rover that is nothing but embodied mind on wheels, my friends. We use our tools to extend our reach. We build the tools, the tools build us. We build new tools, those tools build us. This runaway train before we know it will allow us to literally spread ourselves throughout the universe. Our capacity to create these virtual models in our heads and then build them in the world was sufficient along with our modest looking thumbs to create a secondary force of evolution, my friends. We are a self-creating species and this technology and this co-evolution between us and our tools will continue until the entire universe is at our fingertips. Some call it a technological singularity. Some call it transcendence. Perhaps, perhaps religion was just a rehearsal for our own ambition. Perhaps we sought to use engineering to create nirvana for ourselves. Perhaps our omnipotent desires for total communion with the cosmos are noble indeed. And because we are the technology creating species, my friends, we should not stand in our own way. We are smack in the middle between the born and the made we are as gods, as Stuart Brand said, and might as well get good at it. So go innovate, go dream, bigger than ever before.